All right, what's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in, and welcome back to the Crypto Remora. My name is Wes, and I'm with, as always, Sierra Crypto. What's up, Sierra? What's going on, people? Ah, nothing, man. I am excited for today's show. Uh, guys, today we're just going to be looking at the Bitcoin price chart, let you know where we think the price is headed. Um, also, we're going to be looking at the Arbitrum airdrop, what we're doing, what our strategy is, um, projects that we're looking at, and so on, and also putting a little light on the Arbitrum Nova chain. Um, we think that they're going to be uh, a huge deal. Um, a lot of a lot of attention has been on Arbitrum 1. We want to shift it to Arbitrum Nova and just take a look at some projects over there and kind of, you know, what we're looking at also. So if that sounds good to you, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get it, man. What's going on, Sierra? Oh, man. Uh, just, you know, we, we crossed a milestone, man. It feels good. You it, know, we've it does. Been we've we've been working for this airdrop for since our first video and we we actually were a little late to the party compared to the guys that are in the alpha chat and stuff like but um we set we had a goal we set the goal and we achieved the goal and now we're learning that you know the goal you know i don't know about for you but for me in the beginning the goal absolutely was to get the airdrop for mm -hmm. arbitrum that was my initial reason for for coming into arbitrum right but after after i saw the the projects after i saw how mm. easy it was to use and then we met lambo mm -hmm. i think lambo was pretty much the first one we met in the arbitrum community yeah. and ha actually had conversations with uh Lam lambo and natimus mm. and um and el chapo those are the three that we first and then get that small it's it, we kind of met all those guys around the same time yeah. um and then we saw that Andrew was kind of forming the community leader role. And then I think from there, you know, we met shred and it was like, after we met all these people, yeah, it was just like, these guys are cool. The project's cool. There's multiple D apps. There's yield farming, which to me, that was going to be a, a make or break. Yeah. Um, and then the NFTs. And then we found out about Trove. It's like we worked in the beginning to get the airdrop. But now that we've got the airdrop, a lot of people might be sitting around wondering, oh, are these guys going to keep making Arbitrum videos? They Absolutely. already got the drop. Maybe they're on to the next thing. And it's like, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, my focus um, mm -hmm. is still 100% Arbitrum, if not more, now yeah. after the drop. Right. It's like it's made me more bullish now. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, those are my thoughts, man. I'm, I'm content, but I'm like, I'm like, what's next? You yeah. know, what's... I think we're all on edge watching the Bitcoin price. Everyone's waiting to break 30k. It's like yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of pent up bullishness that's just dying to be released in the market right now. And as at the time of recording, Bitcoin's pushing 27.4. Mm -hmm. So it's it's trying to crack that 27.5 level. Um, and in my opinion, again, this sell pressure you could say it's natural sell pressure. I'm I don't. I don't think it is. I think it's people trying to play both sides of the market, shorting Bitcoin, trying to keep the price down. I think they're just trying to keep it down again. And I'm okay with it because it's just longer for us to accumulate. Yeah. But those are those are my overall thoughts on the airdrop. Um, are we done? No. I mean, by far. What do you, what are some what are some things that, you know, you're looking forward to as far as the your tokens i mean so what, do you, what are you thinking as far as your strategy so as far as the airdrop goes man that was just a stimulus check for me you know coming into arbitrum and, and like you said you know a lot of and a lot of people are were in the same situation they they come in they they see arbitrum doesn't have a token yet um and there's that small group of people that were just in arbitrum for the airdrop right and that's why they stuck around but now they're gone. You know, they're slowly leaving Arbitrum. And that's fine, man. Like, they can go on to the next one if they want. Us, we were actually looking for a better way to use Ethereum to begin with. The right. the, the right. airdrop was just an added bonus. You know, um, we, we tried using Polygon. We've tried using all the, you know, different Layer 2s, um, Loop Ring, Immutable X, anything like that. Arbitrum was is by far the best L2 for Ethereum, in my opinion, and the the airdrop was just an added bonus. Um, we're gonna dig into some of these projects, you know, that we're also looking at and getting into with the Arbitrum money that we've gotten, um, and we think you a lot of you guys should take a look at these projects too. Um, 
But first, I would like to kind of go over the outlook more on the, you know, the Bitcoin price chart. What do you think is going on with this with, with this price movement? What do you think is driving this price movement, the price action for Bitcoin right now? Do you think it's strictly fundamentals, like with everything that's going on with the Fed? Uh, obviously, we've talked about it in the past that, you know, this is due. You know, that we're in a bear market and we're trying to come out of it. We think we've hit the bottom and it's just long overdue for this pump. We've talked about that before. Um, is that something that you still kind of... Like, do you, do you think this is kind of more of a disbelief rally where we're coming out, going into the bull run and, you know, people are just unsure if we're coming back down, what, are, what we're doing? Like, how do you see it overall? Uh, I, I absolutely, uh, our original call when, and you can go back and watch yeah. our, our previous episodes if you think we're lying about this. We're not. When Bitcoin hit 15, 5, 16, that, when it was around poking around that, that level, yeah. Wes and I both said, you know, if you're waiting for 10K Bitcoin, good luck with that because right. you're not going to get, I don't, we didn't think you were going to get it then and we still don't think you're going to get it now right. because that $13,800 level that we preached and preached and preached about for, I've, I've talked about that level for three years. I've been in crypto for three years and that's been my main level for three years and I'm never changing that until mm. I see Bitcoin break below 138 there is no more 10k bitcoin you missed that boat it's gone yeah bye bye now if we hit that level and you crack through it okay black swan event maybe but you know we were telling you guys to scoop what what you could around 15 and now here we are we're almost double that you you would have had a 50 percent run up if you if you followed what we were talking about and I'm, it's not to pat ourselves on the back like oh we're the best yeah but it's it's to counteract that fud that narrative, and that's what the crypto or more is about, man. We're about teaching the little guy how to react and respond to the whales, right? Because the whales run the market. I mean, they they run the ecosystem. They're the ones with all the liquidity, with all the money. But if you try to fight the whales, you're gonna lose. Right. So the best way is to try to swim along with them, try to see what they're doing, and that's why we formed this channel in the beginning. Was you know because me and Wes were both very passionate about yeah you know, our struggles and where, how we grew up and, you know, you know, just working blue collar jobs, working in restaurants our whole life. It's like, you know, you want to have that, that glimmer of hope that there's another way to turn a profit yeah. in, in doing something you love to do. So that's why we formed the channel. And I think that, I think we're hitting our goals, right? I think we're making decent calls. Yeah. We got our airdrop, you know, we're still, we're not done. We're, we're looking at, we're looking at all these projects, Factor DAO. I mean, you know, Puff DAO is the NFT realm. It's like Nova Punks is is you know I've had a Nova Punk from for months. There's just so much going on with yeah. the market, and it's good to see Bitcoin sitting under 30k yeah. at the level you know when just a month ago everyone was screaming 10k Bitcoin's going. No, no, it didn't happen. We didn't think it was going to happen, and it did not happen. The opposite happened. You got a 50% pump from that level. We were at 15, now we're at 30. Might as well say. Yeah. So keep the focus is what, what I would say. You know, yeah. Have I changed my strategy? No. If you go to the 30-day chart and you look at that beautiful sideways accumulation, mm -hmm. I mean, what I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing a beautiful step pattern. And when yeah. Bitcoin starts doing that up and over pattern... You better watch out because that means she's building support at each level. And she's going up a little and then building support. I see us in the 30-day chart since March 18th till now just going sideways. We're just locking in yeah. that, that uh, support level. So, you know, could we have a temporary dip? You can always have a dip. Yeah. But to me, the 30-day chart looks bullish yeah. as I don't know what, man. It just Bitcoin's looking healthy in my opinion yeah. right now. So for me, I'm just uh, I'm I'm still being cautious. You know, uh, bear markets they are very deceptive in nature, and if you look back in 2018, we had the same thing play out. We went up 100 uh, percent and then retraced back to to 73 percent. So I still advise, or excuse me, don't advise. My opinion is that you know just be cautious. Don't go all in right. Right. Now. Pay pay attention. <laughs> okay. Pay attention to what's going I on. I would agree with that. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the background, um, and I do believe that 28k, 30k level is 
uh, historically it's resistance, right? If you look back, um, you can see after we fell out of the Terra Luna, you know, that's where we kind of dropped to and then came back up, started building support and fell through that. And now we're coming back up to the same levels. We need to focus on trying to get back over that. You know, I think the banks collapsing uh, was definitely a positive. We had a positive reaction for Bitcoin when the banks collapsed. And then even more positive when they came out and said they were going to save the banks. So right now, you know, the, the Fed has pretty much reverted from from the quantitative tightening that they were doing. Um, they just added, I know, like $400 billion to their balance sheet. And typically when, when you do that, you know, it, it always provides some sort of market relief, right? So um, a lot of people are talking about that on Twitter, you know, the, the Fed kind of re reverting back. But if we still got to remember, we're 6% year over year inflation. That's way off the target of 2%, you know, that the Fed is trying to get to. So is it too early for this reversion? I, I think so. I think that, um, you know, they wanted to break things. They started breaking things. I think they went a little too fast. And Sierra, me and you have talked about this before. You know, if they raise these rates too fast and, and too much, there's that de the death spiral, you know, that we've talked about before. Um, that's what we don't want to do. If we go into that, it's going to get really nasty really quick. So, you know, uh, Fed Chairman Powell, he's in a tough situation, you know. So he's, uh, I think he's trying to talk bullish but his his uh, actions are you know are, I'm sorry he's trying to talk hawkish but his actions right now are starting to light up a little bit um, and, and be dovish but definitely be careful I think that we could retrace back to that 25k level um, hopefully we can use that as support and then start heading back up past that 30 to 33 thousand dollar level man is is my next target price yeah so <clears throat> I, I see that. I see what you're saying because, yeah. you know, but again, it, like, uh, you know, and we watch other guys too. We watch Chico. Yeah. We watch Lark. We watch Zombie. Everybody. Zombie and uh, and Jordan, um, Jordan Cameron. Shout out to him too, man. I watch him every night. Mm -hmm. You know, he's saying, he's like saying the same thing we've been saying. Yeah. You know, if you're waiting for that 10K Bitcoin, if Don't you're on do the it. sidelines right now, that's more dangerous. I mean, as far as dropping back down to 25. That's fine with me, we, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, you so drop good. down to 25, you drop down to, you know, I think Zombie said you could drop down to 19,800 yeah. and, and still, still maintain our uptrend. Yep. So now if we did drop that low, let's just say we did. Let's say we fell from 27,000 down to 19,800. Everyone and their mother would come out and say, Bitcoin's going to 10K again, you know. That's the joke on Jordan show. The mm, coins going yeah. to 10K, you know, because right. that's what it would be. And it would fake everybody out just enough. But <clears> I'm going to tell you right now, if it does drop down to 19 or, you know, 25 even, yeah. that's that's your other chance right. to scoop more and don't don't fall for the games. But let's move let's move on to yeah. the to the main topics let's here. Let's do it. it Arbitrum, the Arbitrum airdrop happened on March 23rd. Um, there's a lot of people in the alpha chat that, that that we know that got a nice chunk of them. You know, a lot of people sold. A lot of people saying they're not going to sell. A lot of mm -hmm. people went crazy on uh, treasure and just went nuts and bought bought themselves a small brain and a small verse. Yeah. You know, a NFT shopping, lost donkeys. People were scooping all kinds stimulus of stimulus money. <laughs> me, me personally, that that's although it's stimulus money. You know. I sold, I'm going to be honest, I sold 125, yeah. like, you know, which is less than, you know, whatever percentage. It's like of, 5%. It's a very small percentage. <laughs> right, not even. And, and let me tell you what, <clears throat> the next day, I regretted it. I was like, damn, I want my 125 mm. <laughs> yeah, tokens dude. back. And I was like, I thought about it. I was like, man, so now my strategy and uh, I don't know what, what you're planning on doing, but I know my strategy is to actually accumulate a little bit more. Too. Like, even though I got the drop, ah, I'm not going crazy yeah. spending my ARB tokens. I think it's undervalued. I think it's extremely undervalued. And bigger than that, if you read what the token actually is for, it's part of the DAO. Mm -hmm. Basically, the team and the devs over at Arbitrum said, here, take it over. We put 10 years into this project. We did all this hard work. We've scaled Ethereum. We've done a philosophical um, 
you know, it's it's a not philosophical. It's a yeah, it is kind of philosophical. It's a belief system in scaling mm-hmm. Ethereum, and now they've turned it completely into a DAO yeah. and just dropped it on the community. In other words, they've spent they they took this thing and made it their baby, and then they had the courage and the faith to just hand it over to the community. Yeah. And to me, mm-hmm. that is more important than number go up or price go up. I think what you're looking at here is a is a part of history yeah. on the overall blockchain of all technologies in, in all of crypto. I think you're seeing something so big that you don't even realize what's in front of your face. And and when I thought about that, I said, I want my 125 arbitrage tokens <laughs> back. So I'm going to spend the next three weeks getting not only my ones that I sold back, but accumulating more and, go, and jumping into yield farms and, and um, uh, I, w- I want my tokens back, and I want to stack a little bit more. Yeah. I think it's a five to ten year play for me, and I'd like to have a chunk to sell in the future, as well as a chunk to hold yeah. and be a um, be a long termer on on the token. That's that's what I'm feeling. I know me and you have talked mm-hmm. about maybe putting some together into the crypto Remora wallet, yeah. so that our actually Remora wallet is a is a long term hold on on the Arbitrum tokens, yeah. but. Uh, yeah, man, that that's my strategy right now is hold and accumulate. Yeah. Um, what did you buy some NFTs? Did you go shopping? What'd you Honestly, do? man, dude, and and you're gonna laugh at me because uh, you know I was scared. You know what? Like, I I claim my tokens and I'm at work, dude. I'm stressing out. And I already told you know my uh, the boss that was there. I'm like, listen, dude, today's a big day, man. Like, I'm gonna be getting the airdrop, <laughs> and he's like you know looking at me of course like whatever dude like what are you even talking about like it, it, it's funny because these people just look at it as like fake money or something like you know so and i'm like dude it's a huge day i'm getting the airdrop man i need to move fast i'll let you know when i do it but i need to step off you know for a little bit and of course you know when i go to claim the uh tokens everybody's trying to claim at the same time and uh finally i i got mine like two hours later so i'm at work you know running around back and forth you know pulling out my phone, trying to claim my tokens. And then finally I claimed them. And, uh, I look, I go into my wallet and I look and they're not there. Like it took 30, 45 minutes for them to appear in my wallet. And Siri, dude, you were, (laughs) you were like, dude, relax, calm down, man. Like you got your tokens. And I'm like scared crapless, dude. Like (laughs) I do remember that. that I do remember that. I was so nervous. I'm like, dude, I think somebody got me, man. They're not showing up in my wallet. And, but anyway, so needless to say, they ended up showing up. I got my tokens. Now, um, today's been my first day off of work. So now I'm looking at projects. Um, I'm looking at a lot of these governan- uh, governance token projects, you know, as far as Factor, GMX, um, Magic, Dopex, Radiant. A lot of these are really good projects, man. And, and the stimulus money just gave a lot of people, you know, money to put in these projects. So I think that right now... You know, we still have some bots trading. There's people trading and selling, and but I think a month from now it's going to stabilize, and and we're going to start seeing a lot of these projects moving up, way up. You know, Arbitrum is a is a great project. Yes, we came for the airdrop. We stayed for the community. We stayed for the utility, um, and I am very grateful for that. And you know, we loved it so much. We started this channel. You know, trying to um, to put the word out about Arbitrum. So um, yeah, definitely staying within the community and uh looking at a lot of cool projects a lot of great projects if you watch us you know what those projects are i just named a few of them and uh, a lot of nft cool nft projects but one thing we kind of wanted to turn our attention to is nova i I can't believe how many people didn't get the check mark for using nova i mean nova is a separate chain from arbitrum one and i think there's a lot of big uh, big events coming for nova man what do you think yeah, I've been I've been a proponent of Nova since the beginning only because I'm going to be honest with you because you know, Board Ape Yacht Club, um the Uniswap airdrop. Mm-hmm. Um so many things that I missed by just a little bit. Okay, Board Ape Yacht Club, I I wouldn't have been able to scoop that anyway, yeah. but you know, the Uniswap airdrop in 2020, I still talk about that to this day. I watched Chico every day. I was like, "Okay, I know how to do it," you know. But I missed it by two weeks. I mm-hmm. missed the snapshot by two right. weeks. So I revenge farmed. I got the Aptos. I got the freaking, hopefully we're going to get that Sui. 
Um, we're getting this arbitrum. We already got the arbitrum drop. So to me, I'm look. I was looking at Nova in the beginning, like, okay, mm. here's an NFT platform, a gaming platform, a side chain to Arbitrum mm. that nobody knows about yet. So, do I know that they're going to succeed? Absolutely not. I don't. But I will tell you this. I scooped another Nova Punks NFT yesterday, mm. and so now I have two. So now I have one that I'm, not, you know, my Sierra Crypto one. I'm not selling that. Mm. Now my other one I just scooped. I like it. I did buy that one, however, to speculate in the future, um, and it is an early project, it's early one of the earliest PFPs on Nova. Yeah. And all you have to do if you want to get on Nova, go to the bridge like you're used to doing. Go to Arbitrum, or I'm sorry, bridge.arbitrum.io. Go to the website. You connect your wallet, and you just bridge it right from there. You have to still bridge from the main net, so you go from Ethereum over to Nova. You can't go from Arbitrum one over to Nova, which I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna do that soon. Like I think they're gonna put in a function to let you do that soon. But right now you have to go from Ethereum straight it's over Nova, to Nova. Yeah. But if you go there and you click on the portal, and Wes, you pointed this out to me, you go to the Arbitrum portal. It's actually its own menu, yeah. and you can already pull up. I think it's like twenty or twenty five D apps mm -hmm. that they have, and some of them are games, Starfall. Um, Rogue Network, Rocket Monsters, um, OKX Wallet. They got some wallets here. Legend of yep. Eros is on the there. Beacon's on here. Uh, Farcana, <laughs> Beacon. I mean, you got you got some cool stuff. So they're they're definitely doing stuff. And also, I encourage you to go over to Nova Punks on Twitter. Um, the guy that runs Nova Punks is is very um, active in the community, and that's where you can find Nova Exhibit IO. Dot io i'm not sure how to pronounce it but exhibit eo exhibit io dot io exhibit is the IO. website and the link is link is right on the nova punks um twitter and you click that and once you do it brings you right up to the to the nft marketplace which is strictly um nova nfts which are really really cool really cheap they've got nova penguins they've got um nova apes of course, Nova Punks and Ghost Boy. They got my Arby Gods. If some of you guys have been following us on Twitter and you see me and Wes posting these NFTs, it's more me. I, I post a lot of the Nova NFTs. But this is where I'm getting them. And they are dirt cheap. I mean, some of these things have three zeros in front of them. So it's a highly speculative thing for me. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm an NFT junkie anyway. So for me, if you, if you got 20 or 30 bucks is what you're working with you know you might be able to scoop one or two nfts on arbitrum or on ethereum yeah. uh you come over to nova with 20 bucks and you you can scoop five or six yeah. nfts and so to me it's it's a get in early get in hard kind of strategy mm -hmm. and if it does well then it's it's cool but even if it doesn't um i follow lark davis's rule which is if you're gonna buy an nft make sure you like it because if the if it doesn't go up in value and you're stuck with it, make sure it's a piece of art or something that you enjoy, right. something that you like. So I always pick things that I like. But um, you've got a couple Nova NFTs, right? I yeah, mean, you scooped. Yeah, I have the uh, the OG, you know, early early NFTs like you. Um, but this this uh, man, dude, this this Farcana looks cool, man. We're definitely gonna be shifting I was our looking at that. yeah. We're we're definitely gonna be shifting our attention to uh, Nova. And, and learning about these projects this one this far kind of looks really cool man i was just kind of reading it as you were talking and uh it looks like you fight for like a bitcoin prize pool so that that's pretty cool man. it looks well that's interesting well right. you guys make sure um make sure you do go over and follow nova punks make sure you follow um exhibit io dot io that's a good marketplace um we're going to be doing more videos to kind of actually show you guys how to how to use the bridge we'll probably include that because it only takes five seconds yep. to do we'll probably throw that in another video coming up but we've got a lot more exciting stuff coming up we've got um jordan coming on the show we've got our unfiltered show with the shred mm -hmm. and lambo um we've still got to get it scheduled those guys have been crazy busy we've been kind of busy yep. so we're we're still in talks with them we're still doing that we just need to plan it around everyone's schedule mm -hmm. but i think um you know it's just just waiting for the airdrop it's like everyone can go 
<sighs> yeah. Take a deep breath now and just kind of chill. I'm personally, I'm waiting for all the temporary Arbitrum guys to go on, hit the right. road. If you're temporary, go on, hit the Peace road, out. sell your tokens to me. I'll buy I'll them. Buy them. <laughs> um, we'll buy them. So, yeah, we're not going nowhere. I mean, we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're back around, and uh, we're going to be putting out some fire content, you guys. So I definitely yeah. want you to tune in. We got some good surprises coming up for you, too. Yeah. We can't tell you what they are, but we got some other stuff brewing right now on the sidelines. But, yeah. uh, Wes, is there anything you want to add? No, um, guys, I just urge you to, uh, you know, go check Nova out. They got a lot of great games, and Nova was kind of, you know, just built for the gaming and the NFT and social. So definitely check that out. You can get in early on a lot of projects. Um, you know, just uh, keep in touch, you know. Subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, man. We got a lot of great things coming out, like Siri said. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be it, man. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so all much right. for tuning in. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. As always, show us some love. We'll show it back. Much love to the Arbonauts. And until next time, peace out.